name is Nhung from Gajing Bank and today we will talk about the foreigner friendly banks. Opening a bank account is super necessary when you live in Japan. However, there are so many requirements when it comes to opening a bank for most banks in Japan. But luckily we found two banks that are really really friendly to foreigners. Before moving to the main core of this video, I would like to show you the tools that you definitely will use if you go to the bank. For me, the four main terms that you would use when you go to the bank would be first, Koza, which means the bank account. Secondly, uh, Cashew Cardo, which means your bank card. So thirdly, Tsuju, it means the cash book. And fourth, and the last one would be Ansho Banko. Ansho Banko means your password. So when you come to a bank and you want to open a bank account, normally I would just say, uh, so Koza is the bank account and Hirakita is the open. So I want to open a bank account. Koza Just say it super simple. And another way to say it like you want to make a cash card. Cash card open to Now let's talk about the two banks that I just mentioned earlier. First, of course, Usual bank, which means post bank. So Japanese post bank is the most convenient with less requirements. For Japanese post bank, you don't have to wait for six months to get a bank account. Normally, when you first come to Japan, you don't have to wait. You can get a bank account and usual right away. So here is the procedure. When you go to the bank, remember to bring your residence card. Better to bring the passport and of course your stamp income. But actually, if you come to the bank and say that you don't have income right now, you don't have the stamp right now, they're okay with you using the signature instead of the income, the stamp. But it's just they're trying to be flexible for you. The best is to bring your income. Then, when you get to the bank, just tell them I want to open a bank account or I want to make a cashew card and then they will give you a form even it's all written in Japanese but it's super simple and they will guide you through like write number on this and write your name on this it's super simple so they just give you a form when you fill out the form then they can make your first bank account in Japan so on that day you can have the cash book right away but when it comes to the cash card get it around 7 or 10 days later they will send it to your house so on first day when all the form is filled they will require you to decide the answer buckle which means your password you need your password when you want to withdraw money from the ATM so you need that answer buckle they will not allow you to choose those kind of simple ones like 0000 or 1234 or your birthday they will not allow you that, you should choose like something not that simple, something that not that guessable. For usual bank account, there are three types of cash book that you could choose from. The normal type, with, which is green, then the black type, which is really cool, and lastly, then the cute type that is pink. So after you choose the type of the cash book that you want, they will print it right away, and then you'll get your first bank account. Really fast, just within one hour. The next bank that I would like to recommend today is SMBC. This bank is really friendly to foreigners, even though they require like six months, uh, you have to be in Japan. But anyway, like after you get the first uh, usual bank account, then after six months, the next bank account you want to get will be SMBC. Yeah, that's it. These are the two banks that are really foreigners friendly. Thank you very much for watching. Don't like share and subscribe to our channel.